Each week, we pick one specific Metro Atlanta neighborhood to call out critical changes to help you as a homeowner in that neighborhood determine whether or not you might have some type of advantage when it comes to selling your home. Thornwood, which is in Ackworth, Cobb County, of course, you take 5 75 north to exit 4, which is Bells Ferry Road, and then go north. The subdivision is past Shallowford Road on the right for those who are familiar with that area. We're going to take a look at what happened in this neighborhood over the last three years so that you can get a good idea of what's happening. There are 155, 160 homes in the neighborhood, which means we would expect there to be about 10 homes selling in the neighborhood pretty much every year. We expect about 7% of the homes in all metro atlanta neighborhoods to turn or to sell every single year sometimes it's lower in some areas of metro atlanta the turnover rate is much lower and in some areas it is higher in 2020 there were nine homes that sold in thornwood they took an average of 21 days from the date they were listed to the date they went under contract the average sales price was three hundred and sixteen thousand. $722. Sellers had to discount their pro homes 1.3% in order to find a buyer. The low price was $250,000. The high price was $351,000. Skipping ahead a year to 2021, eight homes sold. Those eight homes took an average of 19 days from the date they were listed to the date they went under contract. And the average sales price increased from $316,000 up to three hundred. dollars and sixty-five thousand. So let's just call that about a forty-five thousand dollar increase year over year. Not too shabby. Those range from a low of three hundred and twenty thousand up to a high of four hundred and twenty-seven thousand seven hundred. Homes sold for two point eight percent more than they were listed for. So the average sales price to list price ratio in the neighborhood was one o two point eight. Now. Fast forward to 2022, nine homes sold, same as 2020, one more than 2021. Average days on the market, 27. Sales prices increased $102,000 to 465000 So they went from 316 to 363 to $465,000. Those ranged from a low of 370000 up to a high of 600000 Homes sold for 0.9%, just a little less than 1% more than their list price. It's amazing. 316,000 to 363 to 465. There are currently three homes available for sale, which means there is four months worth of inventory, which means that neighborhood is at the low end of what we would consider to be a balanced market. What does that mean? If you have less than four months worth of inventory, meaning if no new listings came on the market and you only had those three homes based on how long it took to sell houses in the past, and we know there was nine homes sold in the last 365 days, how long would it take to sell the three homes that are on the market? And the answer is four months. The average home in the neighborhood in 2012 when prices hit their low during the recession was 179357 179357 which means homeowners in that neighborhood have increased their equity in the last 10 years to the tune of $45 million. The elementary school is Chalker Elementary, the middle school is Palmer Elementary, and the high school is Kell High School.